Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Kiki Sparkles. Hello. And we have another daily dose of dismal Disney. And you're going to walk me through this one. It has something to do with Disney Plus. Now, okay, it depends who you ask. This might be a daily dose of dismal Disney, but it might also be somebody else might think it's a good deal and they might want to get on it because they're waiting for it. So today... Disney put out a press release, and in their press release, they finally gave the, the date for the for when Inside Out 2 is going to stream on Disney+. Plus. But my takeaway was the fact that they also included with that announcement, this $1.99 Disney Plus deal. Okay? okay. And it's interesting because the timing, which we're going to talk about in a minute. Okay. We're going to talk about the timing of this because it does look like Disney is desperate for more subs. It seems like it. Um, so before we get into any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, you get woohoo if you do. Woohoo! All right, so I'll just explain this to you. So, yeah, everybody's been looking. It's one of the top search terms was when's Inside Out 2 coming right, to right. streaming? Because it's like the number eight movie of all time, the number the top an animated movie of all time. Everybody wants to see this. So no one knew when Disney was really gonna was gonna put it out there. They weren't saying. They guessed probably September, October, going by how Elemental did last time and stuff. But what's interesting was today, Disney put out a press release that they're going to stream Inside Out. But they had to make sure at the bottom, we're gonna talk about in a second, they get in something about a deal for Disney Plus for those who want to be a new subscriber or a returning okay. subscriber to try to get their numbers up. So they're using, it's kind of like, a doorbuster? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it's like. Because, I mean, look, we, we've talked about this before. Most of these streaming services, they have hit the ceiling on the number of subscribers they're going to get. So now what they're going to try to do is uh, you know, bring people back that, that uh, you know, canceled. And they're going to try to, uh, you know, get some new people in, even if it's cheap, even if it's a, a short-term boost. It, it does give them a boost and they can brag about the numbers. Right. So here they put this press release out today and they're like, make room for new emotions with the top animated movie of all time. Inside Out 2 is makes its streaming debut in Disney Plus September 25th. OK, that'll be relevant in a minute. So they talk about what it's about. And then they said also announced today Disney Plus launched its blockbuster offer <laughs> now through September 27th. Two days before the end of the quarter and the end of the fiscal year. Yeah. Um, new and returning customers can stream the biggest movies and series of the fall with Disney Plus Basic for only $1.99 a month for three months. So you have to pay, it's like $6 total, but you'll be covered for three months. So if you subscribe now, it'll be September through December. Okay. Through the end of the year. Yeah. 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 So uh, I covered this earlier when I did this thing about the three month thing. They, this is their, their image they put. Mm -hmm. They make sure they put Inside Out 2 on it, the Wizards Waverly Place is on there, but Agatha all along. So there's a couple things going on here. One, their numbers must not be great, or they need the money to look boosted before the end of the fiscal year. Yeah, this this feels like a fire sale, and they, they dropped it like a month before. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like this is this is very very weird. They're just like, hey, you know, guys, uh, fire sale, dollar ninety nine, Disney Plus. Right. Hurry, it, hurry, hurry, hurry. It ends. This deal is now until like for a couple of weeks until the 29th of September. So 27th of September. So they're trying to hurry up and get people in, which is good news for any of you out there who really wanted to get Disney Plus super cheap to watch some of the stuff. Now you can. For you know, After three months is over, if you don't cancel, though, it will raise it to the $9.99 it's going to go up to next month. So next month they're raising, I think, from $7.99 to $9.99. So when you have to start paying for it, it's going to be the $10 a month. Um, this is the ad based version. Yes. Do you, do you remember just a couple of years ago, guys, we're going to price Disney plus at six 99 and we're not going to raise it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And people are like, that's not feasible for, for the amount of content that you want to produce for the cost of this content. You can't only charge six. No, no guys. Honest to God. Honest. They also engine. promised the whole Disney catalog, which they didn't do either. So, right. But if the timing is incredibly interesting. The timing, they, they want people to do this to get their numbers up, their subscribers' numbers up. I mean, they're not making a lot of money, but they're doing the ad-supported tier. Yeah. So while it might not help this quarter, uh, the subscriber count will. But in come the first quarter of next fiscal year, any ad sales they get that they're putting across that, they boost their ad sales to more customers, will go into play for next year. Um, they're using Inside Out 2 
as a loss leader to get people to, to sign up for this. Well, yeah, because they've already made so much money off this movie that they can basically give it away at this right, point. Right, but I'm just saying they, they didn't announce the, the release of this until they announced this deal, which they announced in the same press release. They usually give a, a, a big movie yeah. like that its own release. They make sure they mention it. Oh, and by the way, we're going to give you this really good deal because it just happens to be up before the end of our fiscal year, which says to me something not is not good. Um, yeah, I think they're looking at the numbers and the numbers aren't good, but also they're going to try to get people in for probably historically high ad rates between the election and mm-hmm. the holidays. Right. And a lot of advertisers have actually been holding off on spending this year because they weren't sure which way things were going to go. But now, like I know, just in, you know, our, our instance, like we are getting bombarded with election ads. We are getting flyers every day from both candidates, yes, from people daily. I've never I've never heard of. Like, I don't even know who this person is. I don't even know if I can vote for this yeah, person. I don't remember getting this many flyers in the mail. It's no. weird. But OK, so, yeah, that the historically high ad rates coming into the holiday season. Yeah. And then the other thing I want to point out is Agatha All Along is coming out next week, right? So if you get people to, to come in for Inside Out 2, they're going to be here for Agatha All Along on the 18th. And then I bet you they're, they're trying to get people to watch this show. So they can put one well, of those press release. Oh, my God, guys. It's the biggest release of 2024 on Disney Plus streaming on a Wednesday. You know, they're, they're trying to drum up an audience for that show as well. So if we give people really cheap Disney Plus, they'll probably watch the Marvel show. I'm just sitting here thinking, like, I, I can just see the headlines now. Like, Agatha all along broke records. And all those chuds said that that uh, women in Marvel, the MCU, they're all a bunch of chuds. And right. women are leading the way in Marvel. And, yeah. Oh I'm just saying, it's weird. I mean, it's not yeah. weird. I know what they're doing. They're doing this because they're trying to boost their numbers for the end of this year because they promised all this stuff to investors and they can count these subscribers and then that'll be some money. It's not a lot because you're getting like a subscription for like uh, what a third of the cost at this point in time about roughly yeah, yeah. a quarter to a third. So they're still going to have money from it because a lot of people are probably going to take advantage of the deal and come back. So they have this huge influx of subscribers. Even if they're only getting it for a third or a quarter of the price, there's still a big boost to that, to the to the numbers there financially, and then they could take around, turn that around, and, and go to advertisers and say, "We have way more subs, so the price went up." Mm-hmm. And then, and then, right in time to watch Agatha all along, and we're going to bait the hook with Inside Out too. I'm just saying it's weird. And then the fact they put it out on a press release together that it was a re- it was announced with a deal on the press release. Yeah, that's that that is weird. Now, actually, what this kind of reminds me of though is when they used to give the Disney Channel away back in oh, the day. Oh, yeah, they have you know, weekends. You could have free week, preview weekends. Yeah, and so for those of you who don't remember, once upon a year, way back in the 1980s, you used to have to pay for Disney Channel like you pay for HBO or Showtime, right? And to get people to subscribe, they would do a free preview, and they would give it away for a couple of days. And, you know, you would watch Tron about 14 times. Mm-hmm. And uh, Pete's Dragon and all these other kind of like D-list. And they D-list. might put one or two good ones in there, but most of them was just like fodder. But they try to bait you to subscribe. Well, back then, like, yeah, it was Disney Channel, but they didn't give you the good st- Like, very seldom did they run one of their like top shelf movies. It was like you had to buy it on VHS. That was their thing. Or they would run it like once. Like, okay, we'll run Cinderella like once, you know, but you're going to have to go buy it on VHS if yeah, you want to watch it. Yeah, that's true. And, you know, something else, I, they hadn't already canceled it. I would have expected them to put the accolade at the top of the page over and over and over again, trying to get people to run them. Oh, my gosh, guys, the accolade number suddenly took a huge upswing. Poor people love the accolade. I know, but I don't think they're <laughs> going to do that because at this point they canceled it, so why bother? But then they're, they're giving Inside Out 2. They wouldn't tell people when. Yeah. They're dropping it, and then they're announcing Inside Out 2's streaming date with this bundle and the bundle is going to end if you would subscribe to it now you should probably get it through december which means you're going to be there is some time for a star wars skeleton crew to start and hopefully people will continue their subscription to see that now weirdly i i am actually willing to give skeleton crew a chance um I, if for no other reason than well they kind of tease that uh captain eo might be part 
part of the universe. Yes, Ka- they won you over with Captain they, Yeah, They, they, they kind of did. True. But I'm also looking at this, and yeah, it doesn't look like it belongs in Star Wars. And there, there are all kinds of complaints. I mean, you know, oh my God, kids in Star Wars. I'm also like, George Lucas would have made something like this. Mm-hmm. You know? This I is think like he, a Spielberg Lucas esque. He would have made something like this. Yeah. He did. He did with Ewoks. We don't know yet. Uh, yeah. Movie, yeah. Well, so. look how all that did. Yeah. And, you know, this stuff was worst rated until the accolade came along. So, yeah, I just found it interesting. To me, this says, hurry up, fire sale this shit to get it. Yeah. So we get the numbers up before the the investor call. And, of course, those numbers won't come out for, like, a, you know, week, a few couple weeks after. Like, usually, what, they'll probably cover it in, like, October or November. I think November by the next, next investor call. So they have yeah. plenty of time to to get those numbers massaged and, and then start pumping them up for the next investor call. Well, yeah, and what they're going to do, they're going to be, like, you know, first quarter. They're going to be, like, Q1, we had phenomenal Ad revenue, guys. Everybody, we had the best advertising quarter we've ever had because their Q1 begins in October, so mm-hmm. they're going to get all the election ads and the Christmas yes. ads and the yeah, yeah. So yeah, because their Q1 is going to go October to December 31st, October 1st to December 31st. So anyway, I just thought that was interesting, especially in the fact that they put the announcement on the same press release. Yeah. I just was immediately like, I totally see what they're doing here, but again. If you want to see Inside Out 2, you can pay a dollar ninety nine to do it, and then you can watch, you know, you can, you know, Agatha all along, and all that other stuff later. If you wanted to see what the acolyte was about, you can go waste your time with that one. <laughs> um, but for people who want to subscribe, that's a good price. So there's a deal for you if you're listening, and that's something that sounds interesting to you. It is the ad supported tier. But it's not really much different than the ad-free tier, honestly. No. The ad-free, you can st- stream stuff offline and stuff like that. But Yes, yeah, so, well, if it's like Hulu, even if you have the um, the supposed ad-free version of it, you still get a lot of ads. You do. So it's like, I mean, I, I don't know. Um, I can't remember the last time I've actually watched Disney+. Plus. I am watching... X-Men. I, I watched X-Men. I'm watching the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. the last two seasons because I never watched them. I used to watch all the time, but my son has begged me to watch the last two because when I wanted him to watch the show, he wouldn't watch it. I watched up to the, what, season five, mm-hmm. and then I stopped watching it. Now, like in the last year, he's watched the whole thing, and he wanted me to watch the last two seasons. So I'm doing it for him. Um... But that's the only reason why. Otherwise, I don't even pay attention. Even though I do hear some, there's some good K-drama on there, so I might have to check that out. So anyway, we're going to wrap this up. We're going to wrap it up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later. Wait, wait. Do it for the K-drama. $1.99. <laughs> Bye!